I did my best. I know uh, it doesn't seem like it, but I, I really did. I uh, hope you believe me. I, I tried and tried and and tried and nothing, nothing ever worked. And you all hate me. Maybe, maybe I deserve it. I always, always tried. body and mind are linked. Physical actions are a manifestation of mental actions. Thus, training to protect the body also protects the mind. Controlling your environment controls your thoughts. You, your body, and your environment are part of a larger whole. Control your thoughts. Control your body, control your environment, and control your faith. Cooper's second rule of gun safety is to never point the gun at something you are not willing to destroy. Now this seems obvious, but is easy to forget in the moment. If you are training at the range and a burning hot shell casing falls down your shirt, are you prepared to keep the gun pointed at the target? Uh, if the gun malfunctions, are you sure you won't point it sideways to get a better look at what's wrong? Uh, what if you were preparing to take it apart for routine maintenance? Are you still paying attention to which way the barrel is pointing? Many accidents take place while cleaning guns, because that's often when we let our guard down. If you run out of ammo, you can no longer defend yourself against kill drones. However, they are predictable, and with enough focus, you can get past them without using your firearm at all.
The world of the mind stretches far to the horizon. In this space, it's tempting to dwell in the past or explore possible futures. Attention flits from one distant idea to the next, visiting 100 unlikely scenarios, spreading thinner and thinner. This is the unfocused mind. In contrast, sharp focus is always concentrated on the present moment. What action do you have to take right now? Each new moment necessitating the next thought and action in a correct sequence.